In this video, we will compare the ratios of the harmonic series with the frequencies prescribed in Equal Temperament. Equal Temperament is a system of tuning that divides the octave into 12 equally spaced parts. This system dates back centuries, but was widely adopted during the Baroque era around 1600 to 1760 AD. It is the system of tuning still widely used today and present in all popular music. The harmonic series is a natural phenomenon that describes how vibration occurs in musical sound. When a guitar string vibrates, for instance, it vibrates as a whole and in halves, in thirds, fourths, etc., all at once. These ratios produce the tones that we perceive as the overall timbre of an instrument. A criticism of equal temperament is that it does not reflect the natural order of the harmonic series. Equal temperament allows for songs to easily be transposed from key to key, but when notes are played together, they produce a subtle discordance. Our ears have become accustomed to this instability through our cultural inheritance. Let's listen to the harmonic series as reproduced by sine waves, one of the simplest building blocks of sound. This example is built off of A3, at 220 hertz, one octave below middle C on a piano. We'll hear the fundamental frequency and seven subsequent overtones. Here's the fundamental at 220 hertz. Now the first harmonic, 440 hertz. The second harmonic, 660 hertz. 880 hertz. 1,100 hertz, 1,320 hertz, 1,540 hertz, and lastly, the seventh harmonic at 1,760 hertz. The pitches fit well together and are related by a multiplication of the fundamental. The image on the oscilloscope is steady and reflects the harmony that we hear. Now let's listen to the same example, but using the pitches prescribed in equal temperament. Here's the fundamental, once again at 220 hertz. Now the second pitch, 440 hertz. The next pitch is flat at 659.26 hertz. 880 hertz. The next is sharp at 1,108.73 hertz. 1,318.51 hertz, 1,567.98 hertz, 1,760 hertz. As we can see and hear, equal temperament creates a harmony that is unstable when compared to the ratios of the harmonic series. The harmonic series presents itself in nature while equal temperament is a system that was chosen by composers, musicians, and the powers that be. What are we doing to our psyches by consuming music that is out of touch with physics? What possible benefits are we missing out on? And what would occur if we chose to produce music in a way that reflects our natural world? 